let's discuss now the circuit switch fallback mechanism that uses the legacy 2G or 3G core network and radio access for providing voice, voice service to LTE subscribers equipped with dual mode handsets. With circuit switch fallback approach, whenever a request for a voice call arrives, the LTE user is handed over to a legacy circuit switch network, assuming it provides an overlapping coverage. At the end of the call, at the, at the, at the legacy network, the, the, the device may, but not necessarily, reassociate and register again with the LTE network. To support circuit switch fallback, a new interface, SGS, is introduced, connecting the MME with The Legacy Mobile Switching Center, MSC. When an LTE handset with circuit switch fallback is turned on, it registers in both networks, the LTE and the Legacy Network. To enable fast handover to the legacy network when required, the legacy network, whether it is GSM or UMTS, needs to know the location of the LTE user. Therefore, the MME, which tracks the location of the user at the LTE network, continuously provides the location information to the legacy MSC using the new SGS interface. Assuming now that the UE is initially served by the LTE network and has an active IP connectivity. When the UE decides to make a voice call, it sends service request message to the MME. The MME checks if the UE is capable of handling circuit switch fallback and notifies the E B to transfer the UE to the legacy network. Before handing over the UE, the E B may request the UE to perform RF measurements of the neighboring 2G or 3G networks.